Hello, everybody. It's Mary Lynn Harris here of Hard at Work, and I'm doing this wonderful podcast series about how to create an impactful legacy for your business. And originally, it started off as a pre-conference, and now I'm just continuing on with the series. So we're more topics are still about how to create a happy culture for better productivity, um, profits, leading with kindness and happiness in the workplace. And all that wonderful good stuff that we all want to see. It's all about the people connection and the retention and whatever ails you. So um, today I have on the call with me is Char. I'm not even going to bother pronouncing her last name because I know I'll get it wrong. So um, Char, welcome to the show. Thank you. Yeah, so Char is in Santa Monica, I believe. That's what she told me before we got going here. So, um, yeah, so tell me, Char, how did you kind of get started doing what you're doing and all that wonderful stuff that you do? Yeah, um, so as I was sharing with you at first, thank you so much for having me here. Um, I'm very excited about this conversation and what you're passionate about and what you're creating in the world and just to see where this conversation takes us. So I'm very looking forward to this. Um, my, my journey started six years ago um, in San Francisco. I started a travel tech company to enable travelers to stay location dependent longer and basically creating income for them no matter where in the world they are because to me they are natural peace builders if somebody travels for a year for two years the communities that they step into and the stories that they continue sharing around the world to every other community that they go to they just very organically remove biases and just share those stories that oh no matter what culture we come from all of us want to be connected feel loved and all of us avoid suffering right and so for me it has always been very important to enable them to continue sharing that message and I was doing that for four years, building that company. And that um, journey took me all around the U.S. I was nomadic for three years, living in um, Austin, San Francisco, Seattle, Los Angeles, New York. And so with all of that, with my team also, we would be working at different co-working spaces. Mm -hmm. I had access to this um, I had a membership on these two different apps that give you access to all co-working spaces. I don't know if you've heard of them. Yeah. One of them is called um, Desk Pass and the other one is called Cross On. Okay. Um, basically, you get a membership and you get access to all co-working spaces and offices in your okay. city. A very good tool if you're traveling a lot. Still though, like for me and my team, what was important was to, when we are sitting in a co-working space, to connect with more people, right? right? And um, just get, for me also, it was very important to move around, to spark creativity in the team, and not to stay in the same place over and over. Mm -hmm. Have a lot of natural light, have a lot of excuses to talk to people. But I'll, I kid you not, like working in more than 50 different working spaces, I never had a meaningful conversation with a stranger. <laughs> it's, it's not like I never met someone that became my friend other than just a small talk conversation um, in a co-working space. Okay. And, um, and so that is what I'm focusing now with the experience of how to create more connected workspaces right. and enable teams to connect not only with self but others mm -hmm. and also um, just flip the work experience into a really fun and engaging experience because right. we spend more than 40 hours of our week at work right why should we hate Mondays why can't it be <laughs> something that we look forward to to like yeah go and explore and, and get excited. So yeah, that's, that's where I'm at. Okay. So yeah, because you were sharing that before we decided to do the interview that you're kind of creating dynamic workplaces so that people can go to every once in a while, whether it's a project or whether they're solo, just to kind of having a different outlook uh, about work in their workplace. So can you tell me a little bit about kind of things that you do for people in that regard? Yeah, so um, with my team now, we create 
offsite outdoor offices mm -hmm. for startups and corporations. Basically, we create a day of an office at the beach or in the woods, somewhere outdoors and beautiful. And the team comes out and works there. And we bring in Wi-Fi. We have the whole office set up. We basically create it out of nothing. And at the end of the day, everything is out. <laughs> and uh, the team just shows up to work and we add experiences. And I like work with a collective of artists mm -hmm. who can start the day with a performance, um, do a pop-up performance during lunch, end the day with meditation, yoga, or some kind of movement and game. Mm -hmm. So that the whole experience of working and, 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 and the goal is to work with every team at least once a month so that we learn about their agenda for the month, their annual agenda, so that every every day of that month that they're working with us, they get to kind of move towards that connection goal or creativity goal and come out and play, but still do not lose like their business. It's not retreat, retreat. It's four hours of focused work and then 30 minutes of a performance and then focused work and then play. Right. Um, and all of it outdoors. Mm -hmm. um, mm, I, I don't like this. <laughs> 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 so how is that working out with everybody? Is we getting enough people that are saying yes, I want to do that? Yeah, yeah. Um, startups love it. Um, so right now I'm working with um, three different startups in Santa Monica, mm -hmm. and we do monthly co-working uh, ones too. Wow. Um, the co-working one uh, is um, a day where freelancers and entrepreneurs come in this is more for solopreneurs yeah. and for creatives that want to network we just create this one day somewhere it's a pop-up where it's kind of like a secret thing that if you're part of the guest list you receive an email and says hey this week we're going to be at the beach yeah. and um, people can join mm -hmm. and that's also very much designed around connection and enabling um, the the creatives and entrepreneurs to network and and that, that has been actually, that's something that I'm very, um, it's very near and dear to my heart because I was that for the uh, beginning of my journey. And I haven't shared this. So I was born and raised in Iran and I immigrated to the U.S. by myself eight years ago. So I had to basically really climb up in connecting and learning how it works, becoming an entrepreneur. So and doing it alone, um, it's just very yeah. taxing, you know, you, you have to invest a lot of time. And so for me, it's really important to make it fast, make it quick, make it more fun for entrepreneurs to get to that point of functionality. And uh, the co-working days really um, help. Like the last one, <laughs> one of the one of the friends that joined, which he became a friend there, he, um, he just moved from San Francisco. He quit his job in Google and moved to LA mm -hmm. um, because of his partner and he was looking for jobs and he wasn't interested in doing like a full-time job. He just wanted to do different gigs. And in that setting, he got like five different gigs. <laughs> <laughs> he got to be a DJ. He got to be working at a startup um, as a dating coach. He became like a um, freelance operations manager it's just like okay at, at the end of the day so much happens right. when you bring people together and and let conversations happen mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah it's amazing what you can do when you put pull a bunch of people together and see yeah what transpires right yes yeah, yeah. having fun in the process so do you see um, the thing that you're doing going to be getting bigger? Do you think it's going to expand to more companies? Or do you think the concept will continue to get bigger? Yeah. Um, yeah, for sure. Um, the, I, the, so what we're doing is kind of a cross-section of um, corporate wellness right. and also um, kind of yeah corporate wellness but I, I want to give you two examples do you know the of the startup called breather no. they are um, they're a Canadian based company they raised more than um, a 60 million was the last fund they raised mm -hmm. and they are a series C um, company 
um, what they do is basically you can you can book um, office spaces kind of like Airbnb but a room as your offsite office for a meeting or things like that for your team to just get out of the office that they work at mm -hmm. and um, for a change of scenery it really helps with boosting creativity and um, sunlight helps a lot with um, increasing productivity and movement and all of these things and I'm sure um, you and your audience and the other interviews that you have, you really delved into um, all of the effects that play, light, space can do for employees and how it boosts their um, productivity. So Breather kind of gives you that chance of booking locations that um, that is um, kind of choosing based on that kind of um, preference that you have. And then um, the corporate wellness um, um, industry is is growing very rapidly and more and more corporations are really investing in taking their employees outside enabling them to connect and and investing in their mental health and and so what we're doing basically is creating a solution that is in between where employees do not have to just go out there and start working but it is a combination of work and play just redesigning the way we work into not something to retreat from, but it can be the place for you to um, find yourself. Right. Um, and uh, have you seen Amazon's new addition to their headquarter in, Amazon, in um, Seattle? No. They've created three big spheres, and they're all made of glass. They invested um, around $4 billion in renovating the office in Seattle, and most of it went to this project. Basically, three big spheres uh, full of 40,000 different plants. And the whole concept of it is just working with the plants because of the studies that have been done on how plants can increase um, productivity and creativity for, for workers. Mm -hmm. So they've invested, like, instead of, in, instead of investing in free snacks and, and things like that, like other companies, Amazon basically very intentionally invested in creating green spaces. Mm -hmm. um, and so more and more companies are mm -hmm. investing in this, taking mm -hmm. care of their employees and understanding how valuable it is. Right, right. Well, that's interesting. That's an interesting way of doing it. So can you share um, with me a couple of, I know you shared one thing with one solo guy that joined your group, but can you think of um, other stories of success you've had with some of your clients so far? Yeah, um, one of the um, startups, so basically the startups that are working with us, mm -hmm. what they love about it is they have to take their teams to, for example, I was just talking to a client, she was telling me how every time, every annual strategy meeting that they have every six months, they go to um, one of the founders' houses, which is this beautiful mansion in Manhattan Beach, and because they, they can go through like finding an offsite location that has a nature they want, that gives them the focus that they want. Yeah. So when she saw this, she was super excited because it gives her that kind of diversity of locations and also the beauty that she's looking for. Um, so that's one aspect of it that they love. Um, and the other one is just, it's just the... Um, you know, working at the beach is something that resonates a lot with startups that are mostly uh, female, more than all. They love it, and it's beautiful. Um, and then working in the woods also, it's just, it's because it's a new concept. Um, the, the startups that I'm working with, they are very excited about being outdoors and bringing the team outdoors. And... Um, having access to that um the concept of playing around and bringing artists in to add experiences and, and, and yoga and meditation and all that um that is um that is just growing with interest with them what um what i what makes me super excited is when a startup says okay i loved it um i um and i want to do it next month Right. And then let's kind of do it on a monthly basis. And that's what's happening right now. Well, that's cool. That's cool. That's really good. Okay. So it uh, sounds like you work with a lot of um, younger generation clients. And um, so 
So those are the type of clients you work with, and I hear a lot of startups really like working with you. So is there any other type of clients that like to work with you? Um, I'm sorry, I didn't hear the question. Um, what types of clients do you work with? I heard the um, startups, so what else? Yeah. Is there anybody else particularly that you like working with? Yeah. Yeah, startups, um, also bigger, bigger companies, bigger corporations, but then teams within those corporations. Mm -hmm. um, the, it, there is no um, age range, really, mm -hmm. as long as they have the flexibility to come outdoors and work. And most of the people that work outdoors is, are the ones that can work at their computers, right? Mm -hmm. um, if they work at a shop, then that's probably not possible. But still they the ones that work at shops or like financial markets and things like that they are interested in doing their strategy meetings with us mm -hmm. like right. their quarterly or annual strategy meetings um um uh, but with startups and with corporations it's just like um you are in silicon valley you know this whole <laughs> the whole google and facebook and the way they create space for their um, employees and how that trend is kind of catching up in other startups has caught up already and how co-working spaces are replicating that creating um space um for social density something very interesting that i read about social density was um and three psychologists from mit um i don't remember their name um they they were researching on what creates friendships between people um specifically for employees and they realize it's not what we resonate with, like the, whether our values are similar or not. It's not whether our attitudes are similar or not. It's more about how many times, how frequently we pass by each other. Right. So, so for example, if, if, there, if we pass by each other every day, every morning, then there is a higher chance that we start a conversation and find ways to actually uh, resonate with each other. Mm -hmm. And, um, because of that reason, um, Google, for example, in their New York office, they installed super slow elevators. <laughs> and that, <laughs> that forces their employees to either to use the stairs. Um, and so that creates a lot of conversation. And, and these are all intentional by design to create social density um, mm -hmm. to kind of spark conversation, which is basically what happens in happy hours, right? right? Um, you, 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 p humans need uh, permission to yeah. stay in one place, um, to, to keep that social density going. And so happy hour gives everybody a mutually accepted excuse to stay in one room and maybe some conversation arises. And basically Google and Facebook and co-working spaces are replicating that model, yeah. um, creating social density. And it is sad to see so much space being wasted without the intention of creating sparks for conversation it's just space yeah. and it, these places can so easily change um into adding a little play um that um makes people connect um by experience design space design i don't know if you or your audience are familiar with meow wolf in um, um new mexico oh, um, so Meow Wolf is this um, ex immersive experiential museum of art where when you step into it, it's basically you're stepping into a story, into a haunted house where there are clues around the house. Everything you pick up is just fascinating. If you look into a little camera and you see this whole world, everything is designed to immerse you and take you into another story. And um i think of it's basically stepping into a movie right and i think of okay how can we get a little bit of that into our work experience design spaces when we create a space for social density put a clue put a playful uh, thing in that space that creates conversation between the people that are around that table uh, just make it easy for people to meet and um, with the experiences that we create every piece that we put in that space um, are designed to create conversation are designed to enable people to get creative to get out of their routine and think differently about everything
Yeah, yeah, like that's just true. Like, you know, you can't sit at home all day long. You need to get out and, you know, get some exercise or just go hug a tree or go do exactly. something different just to kind of create that um, thinking or that feeling process where you come up with new ideas of how to do something. Exactly. Um, Okay, so you've provided a lot of information, really, what you already do and that type of thing, the services you provide. So tell us how um, we could get a hold of you or anybody wants to get a hold of you to inquire more about what your services and where do you operate, just in Santa Monica area or do you have other areas that you'll go to? Um, thank you. Um, um, Los Angeles, anywhere in Los Angeles. And... Um, we actually have got some interest from San Francisco startups and um, in Vancouver. So I'm thinking where to go next yeah. right now, but currently in Los Angeles. And um, the way to get a hold of me, so the website for our services is bohoing.com. That's B O H O I N G.com. Mm -hmm. And um, also my email and everywhere on social media, I'm. I'm Sharzadian, S H A R Z A D I A N. That's <laughs> social media, and also the same at gmail.com is my email. Right. Of course, on your page, you, you'll have all your social media stuff on your, on your page, mm -hmm. where this video is going to show up anyway. So people will have an access to get back to you and stuff like that. So, are there any couple of tips that you can share or give before we close off the call? Um, for startups? Well, just whatever you want to share about your business or tips you have to share about what people should be doing right now and go from there. Yeah. Yeah. So the first tip is um, take your team outdoors. <laughs> <laughs> um, enable them sun, sunlight and, and, and just design rooms in a way that they get a lot of light for employees. Right. Um, but more than anything, I think um, um, human-centered design, basically watch your teams, watch the people around you, mm -hmm. and see where do they tend to gather. Right. Um, is your intention to create more connection? Then create clues in those spaces for them to get into more conversations and connect. And because the more teams feel connected, the more they would feel belonged in that space. And the more they feel belong, they're actually feeling as part of a bigger cause than them, they, themselves. And yeah. so that becomes family and they contribute to the cause of the company. Right, right. No, that's a good point, good point. Well, that's great. Do you have any final things you want to say before we end the call or? Um, yeah, if, if you are a startup, a company, if you have a team, um, let me know. I would love to just do a um, consultation to help you redesign your space or take your team outdoors. Yeah, okay. <laughs> awesome, sir. Okay, well, thank you for joining us today, everybody. And uh, yeah, so this, the, your call will be posted soon, and um, I'll give you a heads up when it's going to go live, and uh, we'll go from there. So I look forward to hearing your great excitement and um, new opportunities that whatever you're doing ahead is ahead soon. Thank okay. you so much, Marilyn. Okay. It was really you're good welcome. to have the conversation. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Bye, everybody. And uh, you'll see Shar's um, podcast posted on post uh, podcast.partatworkonline.org. And it's where everybody is. So hop over there and watch everybody else talking and sharing their conversation. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, Bye. -bye. Bye.